told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away this is the chef as well. This is this. Is, I thought he was just a guest of this, but is the owner. So how long have you been here, the, this place? I've been here for over 15 years. Now. And you know what he? You know what he told me? Yeah. We. He saw me on the last video, and I did. I forgot about it. I did the fatira. <laughs> you know what I liked about the fatira? It was like crunchy. Yeah, we do crunchy fatiras. I've never had that before. I thought, oh god. Yeah, we do it because it's a bit. I mean, when you have the bread from the morning, if you come like you came yeah, last know, time in the afternoon, yeah. it comes, it starts to come soft. Cognati used to do that with. Uh... And when you put it a bit in the oven, it comes again nice, like you get it out from. Ah, from, okay. From, from so the... you've been here 20 years. Uh, how did you 15. start? How how did you start the? I I took it like a gelateria. Oh, okay. Then you have to pay like a, a rent. To a the rent. Uh, yes. But you have to pay a lump sum or something like that to get it. Uh, in those days, in the old you, days, you have uh, like a contract for a uh, oh, okay. long time. Then, uh, after that time finish, you have to put again uh, like an offer kind ah, of. And it's called Sandy Waters, eh? Sandy Waters. I did. I already showed the menu. You got a good good menu, so you can come have a breakfast as well. We do. I was thinking about doing a uh, um, uh, a breakfast along the beach here sometime. But one time I came. I don't know when it was. I came, and there was people swimming, and it was freezing cold. <laughs> Where are you from? Bangladesh. Oh, Bangladesh. My friend is in Bangladesh. Uh, he's a YouTuber as well. I don't. I. I got another tra channel, travel channel, and the foodie channel. Uh, travel channel. If I go abroad and I go like, okay. but I don't go as far as Bangladesh. Maybe I'm going to Sri Lanka this year. Nice. I'm thinking about it, but the flights, crazy, pr crazy. Price is expensive. Oh yeah, the flights going abroad. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Double yeah. Morning. Lovely. Yeah. Hello. Good morning. How are you? Nice, thank you. Anyway, come in. Come on, come on. I'll just have a Americano, me. Americano. Yeah, Americano. So come and, come and have a breakfast. Come and have a coffee with him. Say, Do it. Make it good. Though. Hello. <laughs> Sandy Waters. Sandy Waters. And this is the chef. Hello. What's your name, chef? Hello. Hello. What's your name, chef? Salvatore. Salvatore. Yes. Oh, Italian. Yes. Oh, okay. Coast. Buongiorno. Oh, I'm healthy. Oh, that's beautiful. I went on the bus to. Ah, oh, beautiful. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> the bus, eh? Yeah. Big, uh, the, uh, yeah, yeah, but they're fantastic drivers. Yes. Huh? This yeah. is my island in the sun. Good day. Look what he's given me, guys. Gelata Nanna. I'm going to give it a taste. I told him at the beginning, I thought it was talbaita. Baita is those prickly pears. So what's in this? Uh, what's, I can that see is, some almonds. Uh. Yes, that is... Uh... Hey guys. Many people uh, sent me a message about Malia Bay Hotel. Now I walked down the driveway a little bit, but there was... Uh, it's all been cordoned off now. This is the nearest I can get to it. There it is. They finally knocked it down. But I can't, I don't think I can get any closer to it. If I walk down to the beach. And there's the security guards and there's a gate there and there's no trespasses. And anyway, it's gone. It's finally gone, guys. <laughs> Let's see what's going to happen with the building. I'm going to walk along the beach because see, um, see if they're finished. The beach is really grotty, very dirty. We had a lot of window this uh, last couple of days, so that's maybe this is Malia Bay. There's Malia up in the height, and there's a bit of wind, guys. So hopefully it's catching it. It looks like they're knocked it down completely. Even all, remember we walked around here with the gardens and everything? This is like uh, 
I don't know what this was here. This is like a car park area here. But the hotel was on the on the hill there. It's gone completely. All the pool is left a little bit down there. I don't know this guy. He's been walking around the car park. <laughs> Exercises, I think. I just parked here for a minute because I was coming down the hill from Chukawa. And I thought, shall I have a walk along the front a little bit? It's a bit brass monkeys. But we don't mind but I don't think I think you're gonna be disappointed because it looks like here they haven't finished it yet after all these years I think that's my big grope with uh, mortar I don't there is a bit of okay I, I saw this one on the times broken mortar well it's not broken uh, it's growing and maybe it's getting a bit of growing pains there is a lot of construction and there's a lot of people and the population's going up and there's a lot of cars I think uh, a month or so ago was the was the most cars I've ever put on the road in one month so that's gonna really make an impact on mortar so let's have a walk around there we're gonna I'm gonna walk I think I might leave the car here and have a walk around let's look at Melia Bay Hotel I didn't know I thought there's nothing in the paper they're keeping it all hush hush knocking it down but you've seen it anyway guys and we can't get close to it at all Let's have a walk along the front and we'll see how they're getting on if it's it's winter time guys so don't expect too much <laughs> there's nobody on the beach there's nobody swimming I don't think anyway so Melia Bay Hotel I was just talking to a guy there Can, he was married to a Canadian he's uh, really nice don't want to be on camera but it's okay he said he had many happy uh, happy times at Malia Bay and even the comments I remember many people say it's a uh, it's a very popular hotel and I, I have spent some time there I've, I remember spending a few weekends there anyway this is the brand new car park it's all finished this it's uh let's oh look at the beach it's very dirty but there's been very high winds so uh wow Looks like they've been doing a bit of work here as well. Maybe like uh, storm barriers. But the seaweed is... Oh, there is somebody there, I think. Yeah, it looks like digger tracks. Hello. Hello. Hi. I'm doing good. Also, a lot of people refurbishing the Costa del Sol. We're on the beach, guys. What a mess. But it looks like they've been doing some uh, spring cleaning. Look at the weather, though, eh? I bought my... Uh, I bought my trusty jacket. <laughs> it's uh, quite nice, this. It's quite light. And it... Uh, if you get a bit of a shower. Oh, yeah, they're all closed. Look, they're all sorting out there. Anyway, let's just have a look. Walk along the front. And do we see if they're finished but down the bottom I think they haven't finished yet I think I uh, I think I prefer weather like this so than the summer with blue skies okay okay don't don't shoot the messenger I like uh, blue skies and the heat today is about 16 17 I think something like that but it makes it very very close and I can feel droplets but it might be coming from the water there but that's uh but I'm saying I like blue skies but that's dramatic eh especially if there's gaps in it and the sun is trying to break through so all this is finished here yeah. I don't know why they maybe in the summer they have a, a bit of a tidy up so the stairs are all finished is the promenade finished I I only think about this it's great what they did they did all the pipes and they re-tarmacked and all the rest of it uh, we lost the parking on the other side of the road because it used to be so handy but I noticed uh, there's no turning points here and you have to go up to the island and you have to come back on yourself 
and there's parking up there as well just past the island I'm not gonna walk up that way I don't know what they call this the green village it started off one or two but look at it now and now the government gave them consent and they pay money and they put some drainage in there or something there's a, a few places around like that so this is munchies they're not too bad these uh, they're in some interesting places around Malta but they're a bit expensive there's one in uh, Golden Bay as well so we stop at the top or bottom the whole beach is in a bit a bit of a state but as I say we've been having a few little storms and they're windy and they don't really bother bringing the tractors out I think off off season we'll have a little bit of a walk as well we'll go down by the sea I, I forgot my bungees again oh Steve have you really got bungees I said no. and it's on the back of the truck <laughs> you know uh, I miss that from the old days from the 70s when they used to be the builders you know they have one truck and everybody pulls in on the back of it and uh, you know and you you wouldn't think much about driving along and there's like a I don't know like even a cement mixer and, a, and there's workmen just hanging on and sitting at the back or something like that or trucks oh there is somebody open I was thinking is there somebody open hey we might stop for a coffee let's we'll see if they can do us a, a sandwich or something I keep walking down the bottom though first there is a few people on the front So that's the uh, promenade all finished and the car parking is on this sort of slanting here they did it but as I say in the old days we used to park on that other side of the road so that you've lost the whole area all the way up of parking uh, I haven't been coming to this place in the summer I've been uh, going down to Buzabuja if, uh, if I don't really go that very often but it's a lovely little St George's base quite a nice bay down there a little bit from the uh, from the main beach also this is sandy waters they're open so I don't know if they're open or they're refurbing yeah we might stop and have a coffee here I don't know what the break they got playing music again that's the trouble it's a, a pain in the backside because I was thinking shall I stop and have uh, something to eat this is uh, one of the first videos I'm not sure uh, what order it's gonna go in but uh, I was gonna tell about the I may as well speak to you now because I haven't been January I had a dry January I only had dry Martin <laughs> Bonzo is a uh, uh, a subscriber she says she's gonna have a dry January dry martini dry white wine but look how nice that is there we go there is a, I was thinking of stopping off at the bird reserve but it's all closed up since Covid it's closed all right hi Covid they closed it down and I don't think it's open since Sun Dancer this one. Oh look the sun's coming out so here it's all finished it's the old habit of the Maltese though when you finish something you've got to leave something behind <laughs> these concrete bollards there's a, there's, a, there's a couple of cars parked there but there's, it's all locked up it's very nice guys if you get a chance the nature reserve in uh, Adira
Oh, this one is open as well. I oh, know. I oh, know. He's all locked up. He left his chairs up there. Oh, lovely and quiet, don't they? Even uh, I drove up from from Balzan, from uh, the three villages. Was a little bit of traffic by MGR, but look how quiet it is. Very, very quiet. There's the red tower up there. It's worth a visit, guys. I'm not sure if David is still there. I did a great video and it was, uh, it was very, very helpful. Packed, it's packed with history, that place. So give it, a, give it a go. It's very easy to get to. You just go on the road to Chikawa, up to the island, go across the island and do a, a left-hand turn. And you can, there's a bus stop as well. So it's a, a beautiful area to walk around as well. You can go right out to the cliffs if you want to walk 15, 20 minutes and you'll be on the cliffs side. Uh, but the, the tower, very, very interesting. So give it a, give it a go. Here used to be the bus terminus. So I don't know where the buses are actually stopping now. So all this is all finished. We we'll still have to do some planting, I think. But it looks like they've changed all the, the railings here as well, all the way along. Last time I came, I think they were doing some concreting underneath here. A lot of seaweed. Let's keep walking a little bit. That's a... What's that? That's Norwegian or... Uh, it's been here for many, many years. It's a resort. I've spent a new year there once. Forget the name of it though. Tell me in the comments what it's called. What's that flag, the red flag? Is it Swedish or Norwegian or Finnish? Something like that. I know I've got a subscriber that keeps sending me messages saying he's he gonna bring his bike over or something and he stays there. So he's from Finland or something like that. Ooh, look at those big clumps there. It's nice to see they leave it like nature though. That wind seemed to be dying down a little bit. So here they haven't finished yet. For some reason they've left these fencing posts here. I heard this restaurant is very, very good. Sea Bank is coming up there. We did a great video in the Sea Bank. Looks like it's all closed, but it's a, bit, a big restaurant there. I'm not sure if that's the one I came to eat once, many years ago. So there's uh, Malia Bay Hotel. We started off there. Sadly, it's gone. But last time they were going to do, uh, a, what do you call it, a, a five-star deluxe. Star Deluxe Resort. Isn't this a beautiful? This is one of my favourite areas, though. But sadly, in the summer, it's chaotic. I don't. Uh, the beach is lovely. The sea is lovely. It goes. You can go out. You can go out quite a while before it gets deep. This guy, I had a. I had a go at him once. He's got a dog on a chain and he leaves him chained up all summer. And anybody that walks past, kids or women or anything, he makes a lunge at them. There's like a little nature walk there. Hey, how dramatic, guys. I get, I get, uh, I get excited here. I like this sort of... I love the summer, don't get me wrong. It's one of my favorite times. I love the heat. Anything over 35 degrees, I, I love it. But here, when you walk along the countryside, especially on the sea, and you see like the different tones of the sea, 
it's not exactly how I like it. I like it a little bit more patchy and I like the sun breaking through. So I don't know what this, oh, because they're doing, they're made to measure fencing. Obviously they stayed at one end and started at the other. And then when they made to the middle, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that tittles me when I see that. They started the one end and they started the end. Then they, oh, Joe, what? We, we're too small for the bit we've got. That's to get send made to measure. Well, how long is it going to take a made to measure? I don't know. Let's go to one and see what happens. Two years later, I might uh, keep it keep it running. You haven't had a video for a month. So I might keep it rolling. Tell me if you like the short. I, I know somebody said to me, I don't like those long videos, Steve. Over 40 minutes, I just click away from you. Steve, make the longest videos possible. And thank you for all your comments. If you're still with me now, because we're into about 25 minutes, I think. Thanks for all the well wishes and we've missed your videos, Steve. We love you and things like that. Uh, I was going to make a separate video because I was really pissed. I was sick and I was pissed off with YouTube. And I had so many plans over Christmas with the videos. And then when I saw one of my videos just make 500 views, I said, oh, this is the time to stop then. Uh, I went through, we like to call it in YouTube, it's like a overburn yourself. Cause I was making almost three years now, two a week. I mean, that doesn't sound like a lot, Steve. Some do one a day, but for me, it was a, uh, I've got lots and lots of things to do and uh, two a week. And I've got my other channel, Englishman Foodie. Thank you very much. It's doing good. 1,000, I don't know, 1,000 and something nine, 40 or 69. And the travel channel. Yeah, it's creeping up. You know, I'm, I'm only putting one up a week and the foodie one up a week. Now I'm moving, the foodie one I'm moving away from, uh, ready-made but I'll still do some because they got one of them got a thousand views one of the ready-made ones so I'll still do those but I'll when I'm doing a nice meal which I did uh massam and curry you go and see it if you didn't it's it's very good and there's just funny old me doing the cooking now I just did a Jamie Oliver uh ultimate sausage casserole <laughs> it's good it's I just like to have a laugh well this is open this one so what's it called Ooh, looks a bit poshy. Lots of joggers today. I think we went down in the dip and we could have stayed up a bit high. So we're gonna, <laughs> like this, let's leave this cone here. <laughs> it's like the, and these, uh, it's like the old motor here. So they've still got some work to do here, but mostly it's finished. A few of the, uh, back orders on the railings somebody forgot to order the corner somebody forgot to order a two foot um, thing and they all look like they've been doing the beach been doing something on the beach oh it doesn't oh, I'm gonna say the one let me go down here I'm not gonna keep walking that way because that's the sea bank great hotel uh, all inclusive we uh, did a video over there if you're over over there we'll probably Oh, I can't go down here. I'm going to walk on the concrete. Can I get down here? No, I think I think it's just done the concrete. Let's go a bit further along. <laughs> I'll make my face into concrete. Hey, we got down, guys. I had to walk all the way along because there's missing fencings all the way and uh, I was gonna make my I was gonna make my face in the uh, in the concrete but uh, there's some bodybuilders there because <laughs> anyway here we're down by it's a bit dirty off season Malia Adira Bay it's called Malia Bay Malia because that's the village up there and this is the bay of Malia but the Maltese name is Adira 
There is a few little places along the one I wanted to stop at. It's playing music. And this is a bit pushy, this one. I don't want to pay a tenner for a coffee. So they're still doing some work here. They're doing that slanty bit there, that ramp. And there's a few bits and pieces. But of the most, the promenade is finished. Well, it, last time I came, it was almost finished anyway, so. It's true that the sea looks better when it's a blue sky. And this is a bit close, the clouds. So we're going to do the nature walk now, guys. How dear a nature walk. Anyway, I was telling you, Christmas time, I had a lot planned. I was uh, going to do one or two a day. And then I went on that Rabat video. Remember it, guys? It was crowded with people. And I, I hate that many people. Let's go up this way. But still, I squashed through that one street. But the rest of Rabat was quiet, apart from that, whatever they call it, that street. And they had all the market stalls and things like that. I'm going to walk up here, because that's a bit... But how's your father down there? wonder if that dog... This has got a tunnel as well to that resort I was telling you about. And when uh, I did the first Valletta one, it was good. It got about 2,000 or something like that. And then I think I did one after that. Then I did the Valletta 2 of the uh, Santa's Village. And it just got about 500 views. So I said... And I was sick because I, I got the flu again after Christmas... Uh, after Christmas, I, I either got, I was still low on my immune system and I managed to catch the flu again or, or it was still there and it just came back again. But it was, it was really awful. It was like, a, no way I could have done videos because it was like choking. But I was down in the dumps because I got three copyright uh, infringements, not strikes, infringements, uh, which you have to battle with. Most of these are scammers now. They're, what they do is, even though it's the music I use, I only use music now on YouTube library, but they still claim it. So you've got a scammer claim the music. So say if you get like 20, 20 quid for the video, that's, <laughs> I tell you guys, you don't get a lot for a video for the amount of effort you put into it. So you get that and they try to scam it off you and YouTube assist them because they, they say uh, there's been a copyright strike even though it came from the library and you have to put in a, a review money is set aside until the review but what they're, what they're hoping for, these scammers uh, I've seen many of them, these people that they say because YouTube is hard guys, YouTube is very hard and don't, uh, don't tell me that people that never done YouTube say oh there's nothing to it, you get the camera you start talking, you go on video something it's not the, it's not that easy. You've got a video and you've got editing and you've got to find the time to do it and do something that's really interesting. So it's not that easy. And these scammers, uh, a lot of people get fed up of the videos like after about a year or so. They say, oh, is it worth it? <laughs> I can do something else. Even though you've got a decent following, you think, oh, I can just go and do something else. What, what's the point? So these scammers put in a claim on the music and they get the money. So if that music is in 500 videos, then they get the 20 quid from each video. I mean, it's very, very bad. I think the way the system works on, on YouTube, it's open for scammers and they seem to assist the scammers. If you don't put the review in, you lose the money. So say you say you did a video, videos for a couple of years or a year, and you got a decent amount of views. Some have got big views. And you get fed up or you do something else or you die <laughs> which i felt like doing christmas time then uh they get the money off it so they're raking in that they've got this new equipment now that they scan the whole internet because many videos i got that uh even the pig roast one with la they took it down they said that either you 
either you demonetize it, which they did anyway, or we're going to have to take it down because it's unsuitable for uh, advertisers. All I can think, and then what's, what's really vexing, they don't tell you what or where or what's wrong. They just say it's unsuitable. So, but what is unsuitable? It's unsuitable. Put in a review. I put in a review and they said, no, it's uh, not acceptable. But what's not acceptable? You got no idea what you've done wrong. <laughs> it's absolutely crazy. But that's YouTube. You have to work with them, their rules, their regulations, Big Brother, Google, and YouTube. They do what they want to do. If you're not happy, go. That's how it is. Anyway, this is the beach now. We're on our way round. Howling wind. Shall we get a pedlo, guys? Shall we go out on a pedlo? I was thinking I might come across Maxime Mowers. Oh, that's that one. I was fancying stopping at this one, but if she's playing the music, it's not worth it. Oh! <laughs> oh there. A over tea, guys. The first over A over tea of the year. Oh, blimey, I forgot. Happy New Year if you're still with me. These are the real loyal, loyal supporters that stick to the very end. So tell me in the comments, say, Steve, I saw your A over T. Let's see how many people. Yeah, this will be fun. But in the comments, Steve, we saw the A over T. And that'll tell me. <laughs> Was I nearly another one then? I wonder how many people stick with me towards the end because I'm almost getting towards the end now. This one's the only one that's open. It's, it's a shame because uh, she's playing music. Well, he or she, because I saw a she, but uh, there might be a he hidden in the background. Anyway, there we are, guys. Malia Bay Hotel. One of the reasons I stopped off here. The second reason, the promenade is all finished. Maybe they open on a Sunday, these. Sunday, weekends, holidays. It's a busy time as well. I'll tell you again, it's a great place to go. You can stand on the top, you can see the cannons and a fantastic view from the top, from the Red Tower. What the hell? Is that a, a fast walk? So what's it like over here? What were these? But just, you know, like uh, the summertime, they put the tractors out here, so... It's a waste of time if nobody's coming to the beach. It's been very, very windy uh, last night. And we had a big, uh, a big storm about two days ago. And it almost got down to 15. I like to see your comments, guys, put on Facebook, but there's a lot on Facebook. Uh, I get like two or three hundred uh, thumbs up, and that's what I need, guys. Some thumbs up and a comment. Really helps the channel if you do it. Um, oh, well, another thing I was going to mention towards the end of the video now. There is a few people said, Steve, I want you to go here. I want you to go here. I want you to go here. Uh, and... Uh, they're not even Patreons. So really, if I like make a special effort to go a place, I don't know, I don't normally go. The expenses and the time and everything to go. It's impossible, guys. It's impossible. And uh, a lot of people say they want to meet me and it's I'm going to come over here, come over so-and-so and have a beer. You know, it, it's, it's very, very difficult to sort of get the time to go over. Oh, there is somebody there. Let's see if we're playing music. Sandy waters. What time is it now? Oh, he's making drill. Oh, that's... If he's going to be drilling there, or cutting. Not much fun, eh? Sitting there with that noise. Am I going to give him the smell? I don't know what he was doing. 
Well, the smell is horrible. Yeah, you should put a mask on. It's grinding away there. Be careful, huh? Should wear a mask for. It. Yes, yes. I can bake and roll. I might go for that. Hi, right? How are you? I'm good. You know me? Of course, I know you. I follow you. Oh, okay. Nice to meet you. What's your name? My name is I'm going to stop for a coffee and. Can I buy you a coffee? Are you okay? Yes, we can. We can. Uh, what's your okay, name? Uh? My name is Victor. Victor? I was coming to see. The Munchies. No. The, oh, the hotel, oh, yes. I hope they finish it by this year, but I don't think so. You see what they're going to do, though? You don't I mind being no. on video? I shy a bit. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> I shy. They're going to do a five star deluxe res resort. Mm -hmm. And that was such a, just a popular family hotel that was. And mm -hmm. they're going to change it. I don't like, I, something I think about these hotels, they're getting too poshy. Not bringing in the lot working people of holidays. They're, being, they're trying to bring the higher, higher uh, spenders. Well, in my opinion, the best is you have a bit of everybody. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah because, I don't know. I mean, well, I went to Bujiva, Bujiva. Let's say I'm gonna I'm gonna cut off anyway. This is a, a subscriber. <laughs> Give me thumbs up all the time. <laughs> I'm gonna stop and have a row. Have a co you wanna buy buy your coffee? I would pay you for it. Oh no, don't worry. I would pay you. Say hello anyway. Hello. <laughs> no, oh, no, no, I'm shy. <laughs> he's the chef as well. Yes. This is this. Is, I thought he was just a guest of this, but he's the owner. So how long have you been here? The uh, this place? I've been here for over 15 years. Now. And you know what he you know what he told me? Yeah. We. He saw me on the last video and I did, I forgot about it, I did the fatira. <laughs> you know what I liked about the fatira? It was like crunchy. Yeah, we do crunchy fatiras. I've never had that before, I thought, oh God. Yeah, we do it because it's a bit, I mean, when you have the bread from the morning, if you come like you came yeah, last you know, time the, in the afternoon, yeah. it comes, it starts to come soft. Cognati used to do that with... Uh, and when you put it a bit in the oven, it comes again nice, like you get it out from... Ah, uh, okay. From, from so the, you've been here 20 years. Uh, how did you 15. start? How, how did you start the... I, I took it like a gelateria. Oh, okay. Then you have to pay like a, a rent to a the rent, uh, government. Yes. But you have to pay a lump sum or something like that to get it. Uh, in those days, in the you, old days, you have uh, like a contract for a uh, oh, okay. long time. Then uh, after that time finish, you have to put again uh, like an offer kind ah, of. And it's called Sandy Waters, eh? Sandy Waters. I did. I already showed the menu. Got a good good menu, so you can come have a breakfast as well. We do. I was thinking about doing it and. Um, uh, a breakfast along the beach here sometime. One time I came, I don't know when it was, I came and there was people swimming and it was freezing cold. <laughs> Where are you from? Bangladesh. Oh, Bangladesh. My friend is in Bangladesh. Really? Uh, he's a YouTuber as well. Uh -huh. I don't, I, I got another tra channel, travel channel and the foodie channel. Uh, travel channel if I go abroad and I go like, okay. but I don't go as far as Bangladesh. Maybe I'm going to Sri Lanka this year. Nice. I'm thinking about it, but the flights Crazy, pro crazy. Price is expensive. Oh yeah, the flight's going abroad. Yeah, good morning. morning. Double, morning, yeah. Morning. Lovely. Yeah. Hello. Morning. How are you? Well, thank you. Anyway, come in. For the come in. Come in. I oh, just a americano, me. Americano. Yeah, americano. So come and come and have a breakfast. Come and have a coffee with him. Say. Do it. Make a good one. Hello. <laughs> Sandy Waters. Sandy Waters. And this is the chef. Hello. What's your name, chef? Hello. Hello. What's your name, Chef? Salvatore. Salvatore. Yes. Oh, Italian? Yes. Oh, okay. Amalfi Coast. Buongiorno. Oh, Amalfi? Coast. Oh, that's beautiful. I went on the bus to... Ah, oh, beautiful. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> the bus, eh? The yeah. big uh, the route. Uh, yeah, Coast. yeah. But they're fantastic drivers. Yes, huh? of, course, of course. Bye. So, like that. Take care, anyway. Nice, okay. to, nice to speak to you. So, we're in Sandy Waters, guys. And I've got the coffee. Hey, what a nice chap. And what a surprise that I actually did the video here. You remember the video? I don't know, it's copy like this. You remember the video when I did the groin shot? <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna be this big. <laughs> wow, it's big. It's a big sandwich. Mm. Got loads of salad inside. All the birds are coming. <laughs> are you going still? God, the tomatoes are beautiful. 
The stomach here, the tomatoes here, more so. So we're going to have an egg and bacon and salad. How nice. A nice coffee. Americano. Look how nice the bacon is. <laughs> I've got some friends here. Oh wow. Well. The paying customers. Anyway, it's guys. It's a lovely taste. Mm. Egg and bacon roll on the beach. And there's nobody here. Come over and give them some support. When you're here, off, uh, off peak, we still got to pay for the employees and everything like that. So I'm sure they'll be grateful even for a coffee. Come and have a coffee with them. I just walked along here and there was nobody here. I think many people would think like, when it's off peak time, the beach is all closed up. Hmm. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I hope you're enjoying it. I want to thank my Patreons and the contributions from PayPal. If you want to help the channel, the link is below. If you want to go over and see my other channels, travel channel and foodie channel, all the links are for Instagram and Facebook. I'll just stop for a second then guys. He's still going. I just stop for a second then. Do a couple of photographs. Hey this table's wobbly. I just noticed it. Mmm. Love this pack. I was talking to him <clears throat> and he didn't really know about my channel and a lot of people send him a message said have a look at this video because <laughs> yes sneaky there was all everything blowing away there was an egg here <laughs> and he came sneaking up my god it's packed World Cup. I was thinking one time to come and have a breakfast. Oh no, sir. Anyway, I'm going to finish this. Lovely stuff. Very friendly. We're at Sandy Waters with a beautiful view. We'll carry on walking a little bit. Oh, shall we finish here? I might put this at the beginning. So we're going to do a breakfast review and a walk along and the hotel is gone. <laughs> <laughs> Look what he's given me guys. Gelata Nanna. I'm gonna give it a taste. I told him at the beginning, I thought it was Talbaita. Baita is those prickly pears. So what's in this? What's, I can that see is, some almonds. Eh? Yes, there is uh, nuts, almonds, 
and uh, candied fruits inside and it's made with condensed milk. You said it's sweet but I'm not tasting it that sweet. Well compared to other ice creams it's a bit sweeter. Or maybe I'm sweet <laughs> enough. Eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah that's true as well. <laughs> Let's see what the comments are about that. Because I get a lot of bad comments they don't think I'm sweet you know. <laughs> Only the girls think I'm sweet. <laughs> At least. Oh yeah, I can taste that uh, condensed milk, almonds, and candied fruits. It's cold. Yeah, I can see the green, uh, <coughs> and you call it gelatinana. <coughs> I'm gonna choke. Grand mass. Come here, come and see him. This nice guy. <laughs> While I choke. Hey, what a great guy. That was nice, that ice cream. He said it was very sweet, but uh, I didn't taste it that sweet. But it's made with condensed milk. I remember in the old days, uh, I'm gonna finish the video now, it's, uh, I'm too, too much blah, 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 I know, but this is your first video, so hope you enjoyed it. Tell me if you watched to the end, because I want Steve, we watched it to the end. Uh, the old days when it used to be Konyata, my mother-in-law, when we came on holiday. She used to make tea and they used to put like carnation milk, uh, condensed milk <laughs> and they used to say, and she used to give Moschina Konyata She used to go out and buy her milk just for me knowing I was coming on holiday, she said Oh I've got the milk for because I didn't like that, uh, that condensed milk in the tea <sighs> It spoils the taste of it Anyway, last look There it is Melia Bay Everybody doing a bit of work, even he was doing some move in the kitchen. Go and say hello to him. Go and say, English man sent me. How the devil are you? I think everybody's doing a little bit of work. And uh, bye bye Malia Bay Hotel. <laughs>